If I were president of the United States, I would not celebrate Veterans Day and I would not celebrate Memorial Day, at least not in the way that we currently do. So stick with me. We're going to arrive at two numbers in this video that I think are going to make it make sense. First, on those two holidays, the president is usually out and about giving speeches and they are 14 hour days each. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stay inside the White House. It costs $2,600 a minute for the president to be out and about. You do the math and that comes to $4.4 million that we've recaptured by me staying inside the White House. So this is the beginning of the first number. There's a parade on both holidays in D.C. Canceling both at $10 million a pop. We can add another $20 million to the recapture number. Fireworks, the total in D.C. comes to maybe $3 million. Canceling that. Military flyovers, $100,000 a pop, canceled. First figure of dollars recaptured is $27.6 million. If I were president, I'd have access to a think tank. People could check my numbers. Excuse me if the numbers are a little off. I'm an off the cuff, what if I were president, president. First thing I would do is I would fire up the White House tripod. We don't have one. That's okay. We're not going to buy it. I'm going to balance my phone somewhere. I'm going to live stream to the world. It's important that this be repeated to the world over and over again. It garners goodwill. I'm going to give a speech that comes from the heart as much as possible. And I say as much as possible because I've never been in the military, so I'm not going to fully understand it. In that speech, I will itemize how we got to this $27.6 million recapture. Now, I will say that this recapture number exists, and a second number exists, and that is the number 44. And this represents the number of veterans that commit suicide in our country every single day. I'm not in the mind of somebody in the military. I think it's conceivable to argue, though, that you would probably do anything for your fellow brothers and sisters to keep them out of harm's way. And I think there's a direct correlation between taking this $27.6 million and trying to put it to the right places. I don't know those places. I'm not in politics, but, you know, we would find that out. Put it to this figure here to get this 44 down to zero. Rather than me running around town, shaking hands, kissing babies, giving speeches that I didn't write right off of teleprompters that are filled with cliches. By the way, politicians, cliched speeches, big slap in the face. Rather than taking money and putting it into the shape of a firework, setting it on fire and exploding it in the sky over our heads, I think the next best dollars of this figure here is best spent on getting the 44 veterans that commit suicide in this country every day to zero, or at least closer to zero. And in addition, I would call in reinforcements. I would have called every governor and everyone in Congress, and I would have told them to say, celebrate the same way that I'm celebrating, to do the cancellations that I've done, and to give a speech similar to mine with its own recapture dollar. Maybe we would have hundreds of millions of dollars. This sets a precedent. When it comes to local government, I would encourage people celebrating. Blow stuff up, have a parade, give speeches, go to town. Understand the importance of memorializing and celebrating. Higher end of the hierarchy of government, I would hope that everyone would follow suit and we'd set a precedent. This wouldn't take any public policy. There'd be no debates in Congress. It's not a left versus right thing. It's just a critical thinking thing. If you like this kind of idea, if you like this kind of solutionism, leave a topic in the comments section. No matter how big or small it is, I will take a stab at taking a stance on it. If you don't like this, then beat me up in the comments section if you like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.